Hello, hello. So today I am doing my webtoon review on Back to School. And it is a, uh, I think it's considered yaoi. Oh no, it's not. It's considered uh, shonen I Probably said that wrong. But it is a mature drama. It is a webtoon. And what it is about, it's about Chi Wu, who was supposed to graduate the year before, but he didn't due to some really bad medical and mental emotional circumstances. So he actually goes back to high school to finish out his year and pretty much all he has to do is stay out of trouble. And mainly because he didn't graduate the year before and how he physically looks, everyone kind of pinpoints him as a delinquent or the bad kid, but he's really not. He's really actually nice. Um, and as he's going through the school, there is like the most popular guy. He's the president of the student council and he actually has an interest in Chi Wu and tries to pursue him in like a gentle way by just starting off as being friends and then trying to build that momentum to be like, I like you, I want to be with you and date you. But the person who used to be Chi Wu's best friend who hurt him the worst and more than anyone else in the world finds out that Chi Wu is back like not back to school but he figures out that Chi Wu is still around and what school he's going to so that guy who was the ex-best friend who hurt Chi Wu ends up enrolling in the same school to pretty much stalk him and in a way not possess him but be very possessive of him so if someone goes up and like asks Chi Wu if he wants to go play soccer the ex-best friend freaks out and is pretty much tells people to like F off and like not to talk to him so there's a love triangle that's going on and you go through like you don't know what happens to Chi Wu in the beginning of the story and then as it progresses you figure out what had happened to him and what his best friend did and why he has a scar on his back and there's there's a lot to it, it I, I wouldn't consider it like a psychological webtoon but it was really good there are intense parts you don't see any sex scenes but it kind of implies that something happens in part of the vet uh, most of the story has a lot more of like violence or aggression in it and oh my Kindle turned off so there is that however after you're done reading that webtoon there is a follow-up webtoon and it's called back to school hold on sorry it's called back to school all grown up so it goes five years into the future and it talks about where Chi Wu is in his relationship and what happens to the two guys who were in that love triangle with him. Now this one is like way mature. It is considered yaoi because there is actual like sex scenes in it. So if you are underage, you probably shouldn't read it. You know who I'm talking about. So you can find, you could just Google it and you can find somewhere to read it. I don't remember but I do recommend it I thought it was really good and this kind of leads on to the next webtoons I'll be talking about because there was like a little possession in this one like I kind of got to put my feet in the possession area and like obsession area of webtoons and manga and it kind of got me interested in that category so the ones I'm going to be talking about like this next week are about possession, obsession, stalking, and they are way more intense than this webtoon. But it is a good webtoon and I would recommend it. All right, bye everyone.